What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's week 7, season 5 of the GPS. And we got a pretty good one here today. Two 3-3 three and three teams still vying for those playoff spots. Looking to be a solid 4-4. Four and four. There's a lot of 3-3 three and three teams still fighting it out this week. We got the Denver Nine Tails. The top-ranked team going into the season really sees themselves fighting amongst the muck. But they still got a shot to win their division, surprisingly, even though Tokyo had an amazing first half of the season. Going up against the Pittsburgh Poltegeist, Anthony, also one of the top teams at the start of the predictions for the seasons, also by himself 3-3. Three and three. And this is a little bit of a weather war, too. We got Denver with a rain core here. We see them with Pelipper and Kingdra. And Pittsburgh with a very heavy sun core. Groudon, Venusaur, Charizard, Heolisk, Torkoal as a second sun setter. But let's take a look at, at the full teams here. Denver bringing Calyrex Ice Rider, Pelipper, who we mentioned, Gastrodon, Rotomo, Kingdra, and Gudra. Pittsburgh... With that Sun Core that we mentioned, Groudon, Venusaur, Charizard, Torkoal, Heliolisk, and Cobalion as well. Second week in a row that Pittsburgh has not brought their S-Tier Mandibuzz, so they are definitely missing some special bulk. Uh, Groudon and Torkoal, of course, can be very good physically bulky, but they don't have a lot on the special side. And as you can see, other than Calyrex, there are a lot of special attackers on Denver's side. We'll have to see how the matches kind of play out here. See what each trainer sends out as their leads. Denver's really been liking uh, early Trick Room from Calyrex, picking up a couple KOs. Calyrex so strong when it's able to go first, which Trick Room definitely helps with. And that seems to be what Denver wanted to go for here. Calyrex does have solid matchups against about half of Pittsburgh's team. Of course, Cabalion is not necessarily one of them. So it looks like Calyrex is going to have to switch out. They do switch out into the Gastrodon, which we do see rocking the Rocky Helmet. And Cabalion with the Iron Head was trying to get some big damage, but it's going to end up taking more damage than Gastrodon even took. Thanks to that Rocky Helmet. Gastrodon hasn't been in too many of Denver's games this season, but this definitely seems like a solid one. Groundwater, as long as you can avoid the Venusaur, which comes out, but it's going to be taking this Earth Power. And you see even Gastrodon's Earth Power doing about a third HP to Venusaur. It looks like it'll be another switch out here on Denver's side. Ooh, but Pittsburgh goes for the hard switch out into Torkoal to set up the sun. Ooh, if Gastrodon had gone for double earth power, that would have been real nice. But Gastrodon switches out into Gudra. Gudra still has a very solid matchup here against Torkoal. Gonna see it click that Draco Meteor. Torkoal, not the bulkiest on the special side. This Draco Meteor does have a chance to do big damage. Perhaps even one hit KO if the roll is right. Let's see what Torkoal wants to go for here. Rock seems pretty solid. Guja goes for the Draco, but he misses! And Torkoal does get the rocks up. One of Denver's weaknesses this season has definitely been their lack of removal for hazards. In our format, you can only have one Pokemon with the heavy duty boots, so it does make these sort of teams pretty weak. Cobalion switches in into the Draco, which still does about 50%. Cobalion doesn't appreciate that. But I don't know if Gudra wants to stay in here. Yeah, 
back out into Gastrodon, which is definitely a good switch. Is able to negate that Volt switch here. Kabalion does switch out on this one into Charizard. Gastron, though, predicts correctly and goes for the Scald. And Charizard's going to take a little bit more chip thanks to that solar power. This could be another switch out. A solar beam could be in play. Thanks to the sun being out, Charizard could expect a one-turn solar beam. But Denver's going out to Pelipper, so if Charizard goes for a solar beam or a fire type attack, that's not going to work out well. Pelipper does take the rocks damage, however, showing that it's not heavy-duty boots. Charizard with the Dragon Pulse, so it was expecting a switch out, probably into Gudra more likely, but ooh, Pelipper just barely able to hang on. 2 HP. And that's going to be pretty huge, actually. And the Choice Scarf is revealed on Pelipper. This Weather Ball is going to be able to take out Charizard, and that's the first knockout of the game. And when you're playing this tight, sometimes that first knockout can really get rolling. Now, Pittsburgh does have the weather advantage here. They have two different sun setters, which will help both Venusaur and Heolisk in the back. And Pelipper can come in one more time without the with the rocks killing it to set up the rain. So it's going to be kind of a dance now for Denver to outplay this sun. This is an interesting switch out here, going from Pelipper out into Rotom. Rotom, not the best against Groudon, but it does take that Stone Edge pretty nicely. Rotom does have the Leaf Storm. Looks like Pittsburgh is going to switch out, though, into Venusaur. This Leaf Storm could still do probably about third damage. Oh, but Rotom misses the Leaf Storm. Wow. Two huge misses this game for Denver. Really keeping Pittsburgh in it. Assault Vescudra. So bulky against the special attackers that Pittsburgh has. Does take a little bit of rocks damage, and Venusaur goes with the growth in the sun. That's going to be a plus two boost to its attacking stats. That could allow Venusaur to do some big damage. Goes for the Sludge Bomb, but you just see how bulky Gudra really is. That does barely 25%, even with the double boost. And Gudra, after missing the Draco, it hits a key Fire Blast to take down Venusaur. Pittsburgh's threats are starting to fall. Cobalion is pretty weak after taking that Draco earlier in the game. It could come down to Groudon getting off some key Precipice Blades in the late game. Groudon come back out. This is where it gets a little bit difficult to keep the sun up as you have less Pokemon to maneuver with. Sometimes the sun is going to overlap, so to speak. You're going to put your Sunsetter out when the sun still has two more turns left or one more turn, and that's going to make you have to switch out again later, perhaps. Here comes Rotom again. 
Take some rocks damage. And Groudon hitting another Stone Edge. And gets the crit on that one too. I don't know if that mattered too much. But Rotom does go down. And that's what I was talking about. The Sunlight fades this turn. Torkoal and Heelis can still both benefit from the sun. Not sure if Groudon has a Fire Punch. You see Calyrex comes out, but he is going to take some damage from those rocks. Will he be able to take a hit from Groudon here? Groudon. 3 for 3 with Stone Edge is showing Denver how to connect on your attacks with less than 100% accuracy. But Calyrex does survive and does get the Stone Edge, excuse me, the Trick Room up. No critical hit on that Stone Edge and Calyrex with the Glacial Lands. This could do big damage. Ooh, brings Groudon down to the red. Can Groudon get the revenge kill? No, Groudon finally misses on a stone edge. Groudon switches out here into Kabalion. Under if Torkoal would have been a safer switch, able to take this ice attack. Because I don't know if Kabalion has current HP is going to be able to take this powerful Glacial Lance. No, it does go down. Glacial Lance. No drawbacks. Just pure power. 100% accuracy. Definitely one of the most busted moves ever introduced in the games. I'd say even definitely more busted than Astral Barrage. Ash Barrage, you can at least have like a dark type or a normal type and take that pretty nicely. But ice is so powerful. Now we see Torkoal out here, which does kind of screw up the Trick Room momentum that Calyrex was building. Got that plus one from the Chilling Nay, but Torkoal is definitely going to be able to under speed in the trick room here. Denver trying to decide who they want to switch out into. Looks like it's going to be Gudra again. Gudra, their special defensive check is getting worn down. It's going to take a little bit more on the rocks. And Torka with the lava plume in the sun. How much will this do to Gudra? Oh, a tickle. A tickle to Gudra. Does Torkoal perhaps have the body press? No, he switches back out into Heliolisk. Can Gudra connect on this Draco Meteor? They do connect. Ooh, Heliolisk able to hang on though. The solar power brings this almost down to fainting. Gudra might go down here depending on Heelis attack, but I think Heelis will finish itself off with the solar power. It does have the dragon pulse, which is enough to take down Gudra. Huge tank this game for Gudra and Helis does faint to its solar power ability. Which is almost like a built in life orb. But it has the drawback of draining you 10% every turn, not just when you attack. Alright, no more Rotom. Pelipper will die on the way in. We need some key precipice blades here. There's one. Can he get a critical hit? Maybe that'll be enough to take down Gastrodon. No, Gastrodon survives and is able to take down Groudon with the earth power. And 
And that's going to leave Torkoal against the world. Gastrodon maybe could recover if they want to play it safe here. But they just go for the Earth Power. Does big damage on Torkoal again. Not specially defensive. And Torkoal goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Inter interesting choice. Perhaps it doesn't have the Solar Beam. But I think with this, Gastrodon will pick up the KO on Torkoal. And Denver will move up to 4-3, and three, knocking Pittsburgh down to 3-4, and four, winning the Weather War. Helper only came out once, but it was really the tanks of Gudra and Gastrodon that really brought the game home for Denver. Congrats to the Denver Ninetales. Comment down below what you thought of the match. Make sure you leave a like button if you haven't already. Subscribe. And as always, stay classy, society.